Okay, seven traders, let's go through lesson seven four. Okay? In lesson seven four, we're gonna be talking about problem solving. And specifically when you're solving, you sometimes have to write equations and um, write down expressions for equations, okay? So here's how you write equations. We practiced this a little bit in the last lesson. Here's how you write equations. First of all, you have to ask yourself, what am I trying to find? Okay? And that, like that one lesson, or that one question yesterday, um, you got an answer of 19.5 of something. What did that refer to? 19.5 what, Asa? 19.5 dollars. So you have to rewrite that as an answer to the question. If you're trying to find the price of something, you have to write it as dollars. Okay? Make sure that you, once you get to the end, okay, listen please. Once you get to the end, that you actually solve the question that's being asked. So, you have to first figure out, what am I trying to find? Okay? Then, in the question, whatever you're trying to find, you're going to assign a variable to that. Now, if it is um, the cost, you might choose C for cost. Or if it, in this case, is, in this example, it's P for pens. All right? Take a look at this first question. This is the number one in your assignment. It says, Bill purchased four pens for $3.32, including 16 cents for sales tax. Find the cost of one pen. All right? So we know that four pens plus the sales tax is equal to $3.32. Now, the first thing you have to do is define a variable. What were you looking for? Looking for the cost of one pen. So let's use P to represent one pen. Okay. And then it tells us something about the pens. Four of them plus the t sales tax equals $3.32. So if those two things equal the other thing, you can write that out in an addition equation. 4P plus 16 cents equals $3.32. And then solve it. Add negative uh, 16 hundredths to both sides. Then solve for P, divide by 4, and you get the answer, 79 cents. Did everyone get this one copied? No, I got a copy on my sheet. Okay, that's good. That's really where, where you need to copy that. What was the process again? First we had to figure out what are we trying to find. We're trying to find the cost of one pen. Then we had to define a variable. P equals pens. And then go back and look for expressions that are in the problem. Four pens, four P. 16 cents for sales tax. Now, we don't need another variable for this. We can just add that 16 cents to our total. Okay? Let's look at the next one. Yeah. Don't you want to do the homework? I'll come back to the notes, you guys. Don't worry. I'll, don't, I'll give you a, Would you rather spend time just copying the notes, or do you want me to go through the problem with you? Okay, that's what I thought. Number two. Number two says Arnold has one dollar and seventy cents in dimes and in quarters. All right. 
Now, she has three more dimes and quarters. How many of each coin did he have? Now, this one's a little more complicated, okay? Because we're talking about not um, the number of dimes or the number of quarters, but we're actually trying to figure out the value of each one. So first, I underlined the Q for quarters. And they also give us dimes. And you could write D for dimes. But they give us some information about the dimes that we need. Okay? How many dimes were there? Seven. No, look. Three more than quarters. Three more than the quarters. So if Q is the quarters, we could write for the dimes Q plus three. Okay? Now, we also need the value in this one because we're looking for a total amount of money. So how much is a quarter worth? 0 0.25, yeah. So 0 0.25 times the number of quarters, you have to write that, plus how much are dimes worth? How much? 10 pennies. Yep, so 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 times the number of dimes, but we said that the number of dimes is three more than the number of quarters. So this is the expression for dimes, and this is the expression for the quarters. All right? If you don't, if you don't understand this completely, it's okay. This is some really tough stuff. This is this is a hard one. Yeah, you still need this. You don't need this D, but I want you to understand that this is what the D is worth. Okay? And then the total is a dollar seventy. Asa, that's enough. Follow along. Okay. So how do you solve this then? What? What do you have to do first, Asa? You said you know. Yeah, you said I am, I know. No, I said I'm following. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then times three, which would be 30 cents, right? Three dimes. 0 0.3. Plus 0. Plus 0 0.25Q. And then combine these, right? These are the like terms. So 0 0.35Q plus 0 0.3 equals $1.70. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you know what how we got this? Yeah. Adding like terms. And then we've got an equation that you know you can solve. Okay? Now um, let's see, for these, I know you can do number three, and number five, and number six. So do those, do circle three, five, and six on your worksheet. I want you to do those for homework, and then plus page 365, okay? Do we have to do one in here or just in the notes? Just in the notes, that's fine. Okay? Do those for tomorrow. How are we going to finish talking about the